Hello everyone, Jay Baker here, Seattle, Washington. Um, day four of five books a day in five days. We might have to add some next week because I'm feeling the pressure for tomorrow. Like, what are the last five books? I had no idea I read this much. Anyhow, um, so let's start with book recommendations. I was asked for some book recommendations and I'm always asked, so I just decided to make a video every day this week for uh, books that have influenced my work, are influencing my work, or have changed my life. Um, so the first one, and these are in no particular order, is this book. This is probably one of the newer books I just had. is White Poverty by Reverend uh, Barber. And this book is, is really incredible. Um, the, 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 how it exposes the myths about race, class, and can reconstruct the American democracy. Talks about... Um, just so much of the importance of us working together as human beings and getting away from identity politics and learning to work together as human beings. Um, it's wild because when I, I bought this, first asked for this book, they la I, someone laughed. They were like, what in the heck? They thought I was some wild dude asking for some crazy book. But anyway, this is a really great book. Um, it's dual authors. I got to know both of these guys. Uh, so yeah, this is, uh, I've known Jonathan for years. I got to meet him at the Red Letter Christian events years ago, and uh, I hope to work with Reverend Barber one day. So I can't recommend this book enough. Uh, there's, a, there's a poverty issue in America, and we need to be talking about it, and this is an incredible book. So please get this book and read it. Go to your library if you have to. Um, here's another book, a little more controversial book, probably for some of you uh, who have a hard time with people who don't think the same way as you do, um, is Rotten, uh, which is uh, the other name for this title of this book was No Irish, No Blacks, No Dogs. Now, some people know that, oh, Johnny Rotten, didn't he wear like a Trump shirt eight years ago or 10 years ago? I don't even know, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, anyway. This is a great book. One of the reasons I really respect this guy in this book is because he's got another book out, actually a more recent uh, book about his life. But this one, why I really like this one is he got people who disagreed with him on stories and different things like that and had them write a follow-up chapter to what he had wrote in this book. So they're all in there, even people who disagree with him. Uh, he really wanted to get the story right and give everybody a say. And like, you've got to admire that. You've got to admire someone who's willing to um, even give their uh, enemies and people they disagree with the voice. Uh, so he was open to hearing everyone's opinion. And that is one of the reasons I think John Lydon is a very interesting person and uh, inspires me to uh, think differently. So there it is. Uh, check that out. Um, the next book here is Capitalism and Desire by Todd McGowan. If you notice, another Todd McGowan book where I've lost the cover. I, mean, I think if I lose the cover of your book, it means I really like it. Um, Capitalism and Desire, I mean, the, the title really sums up the book uh, about what our desires and how capitalism plays on our desires in this world. And it is a... It's a philosophical, psychoanalytic look at this. Uh, it is not the most easiest read in the world, but it is important for us to read. So those of you who might be champions of capitalism and, and, and think we're crazy for wanting socialism, this might be worth a read to you. It's an uh, in-depth study. He has another book that I really like, too. I mean, he has a few books I really like. Um, he has one on desire. Uh, no, this is the one on desire. He has, uh, or Living with What You Don't Have. There's another good book. Anyway. Check this book out, Todd McGowan, Capitalism and Desire, really made me think, changed my life. And here's another book that I had around me for years, but <laughs> didn't read until like three years ago, I think. And that is a book by a woman named Tammy Faye Baker <laughs> called I Gotta Be Me. And my mama's book, and it's an oldie book goodie. Let me look at this picture in the back. I mean, this was book was probably written when I was like two years old, uh, maybe, maybe before then. Um, the great thing about this book here is, 
I realized that I come from um, 78. Yeah, I come from a woman who wasn't afraid to speak her mind and tell her truth and tell her truth transparently. And so, as you know, I, I really like to be transparent and I kind of, my life is where I work and my work is my life. Um, and I realized that I got that from my mom and I got to be me is something that has taken me years to realize that I also have to be myself and the importance of being ourselves. Um, it, it's, it's, it's vital that we learn to be ourselves. People say, well, doesn't the Bible say die to yourself? Well, I think it's really saying die to capitalism and desire <laughs> and learn who you really are. And so... Here's a book for you to read, the Tammy Faye book, I Gotta Be Me. Um, it's out of print, but I'm sure you can find it on eBay um, or in a used bookstore. In the next book, I think maybe the most important book for us as individuals to read, uh, so number five today uh, is Viktor Frankl's book. Uh, the, 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 this book, Man's Search for Meaning, everybody I know who's read it has said it's affected them in their life in a very particular way and even those who are like i can't remember the book but i know it had a big impact on me you know those are the type of things you hear this book is incredible he's an analyst who was in german prisons uh including Auschwitz, and went through that horrificness in germany and uh this is his books uh, he wrote about his experiences in the prison camps. And the really, really interesting part of this book is when he talks about what happens when you get free from that type of prison, from that type of horror, and what your life becomes and the choices you have to make. Um, and he, he started a, a new type of therapy called Lego, Logo, Logo Therapy from, from his experience during the Holocaust. So this is... This is a gem. This will affect your life. It's not a huge read, and I really recommend reading this book. I think it's probably maybe maybe the most important one through this whole thing. You're like, Jay, didn't you recommend the Bible too? I'm like, yeah. But you got to read this and then probably read the Bible in a different light. So this is a profound book. So please check that out. So that's my uh, five today and five. I want again, thank you all for supporting Revolution. As always, we could really use your support and you can support us by going to revolutionchurch.com. Uh, we're very close, <laughs> so close to meeting our budget this month. Uh, it's always a struggle, but uh, if you could help, we'd appreciate it. Uh, other ways you can help us by sharing these, letting people know where we're doing and that we have service every Sunday at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on YouTube. Anyway, thank you. Bye.